All right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are actually talking about uh, some high quality Ford engineered parts. I know if any of you six, seven owners have watched any of my videos, you've heard me talk about upper pan reseals and how common of an issue this is on the six, seven power stroke engine. All the way from 2011 up, um, they've had oil leak issues with the upper oil pan. Here we have two oil pans. Um, You've heard me mention in my previous videos about the 2011, 12, and early 13 uh, pans that had the rubber gasket in them compared to the silicone. Well, this truck that this pan come off of was actually a 2015 model. It had the silicone upper pan, so we replaced it with the gasket pan, uh, which is a very good idea if you want to uh, you know, prevent future oil leak issues down the road. It's a lot easier and a lot easier to deal with than silicone. All right, so I want to start off first by saying that um, I do not think Ford Motor Company is a bad uh, car manufacturing company. I really like a lot of their, uh, their engines and their vehicles. I feel like all around, uh, they're probably one of the top of the line companies, especially here still in the U.S. because a lot of buyers are going more towards, um, you know, overseas import cars and trucks. In this video, by no means am I bad mouthing Ford, but at the same time, I am bad mouthing Ford. Um, the parts quality that I see, that I seen right here with this upper oil pan, actually cost this customer an engine. Um, it, probably actually going to end up costing the customer because it was a quality concern with the oil pan. Uh, but what I want to show you here today is what happened with this pan and why after me installing this brand new upper engine, upper engine oil pan, this customer is getting an entire engine. All right. So first, uh, before I explain to you what happened with this thing, I want to show you a little bit about this, uh, this oil pan. Uh, obviously we got a pickup tube here on the bottom. Uh, you can see on the inside of the pan, it comes up through this tube and picks up. This is where the oil pump actually mounts. This uh, located in the engine front cover. It picks oil up here, spins up pressure inside of the oil pump, pumps it back down here in this channel. You can see on the back of this back of this pan, there's actually a channel that runs all the way down the back side of the pan. And it runs down here to your oil cooler. It goes into your oil cooler, out of your oil cooler, and there's one more channel. It runs from side to side. It goes from the oil cooler on this side. It runs all the way across over here to where your oil filter housing mounts. It goes into your oil filter, out of your oil filter. It comes in through this hole and goes out right here into the engine block and lubricates your entire engine. All right, so uh, what happened with this thing was I put this upper pan in and after installing the upper pan, uh, crank the truck up, no oil pressure. Um, tr engine ran for seven, eight seconds um, before completely locking up. Um, this is brand new engine oil pan. Nothing really that we did to it. I pretty much knew that it was nothing that we did, but after removing the pan back off of the truck to see what happened, this is what we found. Um, so here's the, here's the oil pan, all right? This is a magnet. It's not a Houdini trick. It's not magic. See how that goes all the way down in here. It goes all the way down here. You see how long that is? It goes all the way down, right? Show you one more time, all the way down. All right, watch what happens when I put it in this new pan. Okay, this is the tube that supplies oil to the engine. It goes from here to the oil cooler, to the oil filter, and then into the engine. If you can't get oil down this tube, which I'm showing you right now, you can't. If I poured water in this hole, it would literally fill all the way up the top. It will not, it will not let any oil flow through. I'm not exactly sure what happened. I don't know if they did not drill it all the way through it when they manufactured this part or if they beat a plug, they didn't beat a plug in it far enough down. I'm not exactly sure because they haven't cut it open. Uh, we're still waiting on warranty to tell us what to do with the pan. Um, but with this, this locked this guy's engine up. So quality control of parts, I'd say for all car manufacturers has gotten really, really bad, especially with COVID and the uh, you know scarcity of parts in general. This little mess up right here that somebody made in the factory of not drilling this all the way through and Ford not catching it cost a $15,000 engine. A 6.7 power stroke long block is 15 grand. And this right here caused it. So this is just something I wanted to show you. I thought it was interesting. Um, something I've never seen before. I hope nobody ever sees it again because I mean, quality control should be better than this at the manufacturing process parts. I don't know why it wasn't. From now on, when I'm doing upper oil pans, I will be removing these plugs. This is a threaded insert plug right here on the end of this pan. I will be removing this plug and I will be shoving my handy dandy magnet in here and making sure that it goes all the way through because I do not want to have to put any of these engines in anymore. I just, I got enough work as it is. I don't need any more. So uh, yeah, there's that. I just wanted to show you guys that. If you're installing upper pans, I would highly recommend checking that. I've done probably 50 or 60 upper pans and never had this problem, but here we are. I'll never do another one without pulling the plug. So that's going to uh, pretty much wrap us up for this one. I'm a little, little uh, stomach hurt and 
it kind of is what it is but i will uh catch y'all in the next one peace